Hey there, and welcome to this commentary about heroes and villains, basically, I have no idea how it's, how I'm going to call it, but yeah, the gameplay in the back should be, I think it's Black Ops 2, Rush from Rehi, Clayman, whatever, I still can't get gameplay, but yeah, whatever. So yeah, we are talking about heroes and villains. I don't know with what caused this, you know, topic, but for some time I've been thinking about villains in movies and books, and for example, Lord of the Rings, you know, we got this classic classical villain, he's just evil and he wants to rule and conquer everything, he's just bad and you know he's bad because he's doing all the bad things, he's enslaving people and stuff like that, that's our classical villain, but the thing is we know nothing about Sauron, you know, just from the movies, I think in the books it's explained where he came from, I don't know, but in the movies we have no clue, you know, where that guy came from or why he does what he's doing. And I always hated that. You know, you always know where the good guy is coming from. For example, Aragorn. Aragorn, is he called like that? You know, he's, you know, he's the son of, you know, a long line of kings and, you know, how do you call them? Those royal people. He, he just is a he's a good guy and he's from a good family and you just know okay, everything is good and he was raised by elves or elves, how it how are they called? I don't know. But you know, he's the good guy. You know his past, everything is fine. He's just a good guy. He had a kind of complicated life, but he's good. And that's with all the heroes. You know, you always get their backstory. You know, sometimes there's a little sad thing that happened, but most of the time, for example, Superman, you know, his planet exploded. That's kind of sad, but he was raised by two good people and he had a good life and he was a good guy. So we all know they had a, a basically an easy life. Most of the time there was this little tragedy. As I said, okay, exploding a planet is not so little, but whatever. We got these little tragedies and for most of all, they have a good life. So it's easy for them to be the good guy even with their superpowers that may corrupt you you know power gives you corruption but we don't know anything about the evil guy for example when i watched the movie how is it called law a bidding citizen i'm reading here you know the the english title is is horrible it is from 2009 i don't know if you remember it is it was with this guy gerald gerald butler or however you pronounce that. You know, he was playing this guy that took revenge on some people that did him wrong. And you know what? The whole movie, I was, I was just, oh my god, I really wanted that guy to succeed. I wanted him to kill everyone because I thought he was right. I don't know why. He was the villain in that movie. He was doing the wrong thing. But I just thought, come on, do it, man. Just do your thing. You are right. Kill them all. But in the end, he fails. Sorry if I ruined the movie. Do you know that that movie had an actually better title in German? The German title would translate into Law of Vengeance. That That's an awesome title, I don't know. But Law of Bidding Citizen? That's boring. It was hard for me to find that title, but yeah. So that guy, you know, he was easy to root from. And that's my basic problem with all the heroes and villains. You know, you don't know anything about the things that brought the villain to be the villain. Maybe he had good reasons to be. If he only grew up to be a rich bastard and, you know, he just decided to do all the bad things because he has a bad character, okay, that's that's a bad guy. That's a serious villain and he should be put down, basically. But maybe he's just like, oh my god, how was he called? Harvey Dent in Batman? You know, he turned out to be the bad guy in the end, Two-Face, but only because... Basically, someone did him very, very wrong and he they killed his future wife, basically. So, yeah, he had a good reason to turn bad and he killed the right people, I think. So, he only killed the corrupted people. So, that, that's fine. And I can really understand that. There was no reason to kill him. He was basically a good guy. And I said basically a lot in this commentary. I'm sorry for that. Oh, and I just kicked my microphone. That's not good. But yeah, so as I said, it's it's kind of hard to root for the villain if you don't know anything about him. But it's so freaking easy to root for the hero. And I think that's wrong because the villain has its right to exist too. Let me explain that. It's just, you know, why do we need heroes? Just because there are villains. Why do we need villains? Because we want heroes, basically. That's just... And I said basically again. I'm sorry. But... Yeah, that's just the thing. We want heroes and that's why we need villains. I think there was a quote from Mission Impossible accidentally, but whatever. 
and we really love our heroes and we hate our villains, but the villain needs to exist as much as the hero needs to exist. So the bad forces, we really need them because, you know, without bad forces, there wouldn't be good forces. Why would you fight for the good if there was no bad to fight against? And why would you, you know, bring the bad if there was no good to stop you? Basically, do villains know that they will get stopped in the end? Is that depressing? Is there some kind of support group for villains? I don't know. I could, I could imagine it. But yeah. Oh, another villain I can identify with is Magneto. Magneto, is he called that? From X-Men. You know, he survived the Holocaust. I can totally understand the fact that he wants to kill every single human on that planet. I totally get that. You know, I would help him. But yeah, whatever. What do you think about heroes and villains? Leave it in the comment section below. Maybe rate and comment on the video. If Do you, do you rate on the video? Whatever. If you enjoyed it and that was it, I'm Lost Link, signing out. <laughs>